Judging by the macroeconomic events, Wednesday is likely to be one of the most important days of the year. Traders prefer to remain cautious ahead of the U.S. inflation report and the Fed's meeting minutes. The fact is that any deviation from the expected figures may cause high volatility. And notably, the Fed's decision is causing almost no doubt. Analysts suppose that the regulator will keep the key interest rate within the range of 5.25 to 5.50 percent. In this slide, the focus will be on revised economic forecast known as the Fed's dot plot. For example, in March, the regulator kept the key rate unchanged. However, the plan for future rate cuts turned out to be hawkish. It means that, according to the Fed's dot plot, the key rate cuts were moved to later periods. Since then, inflation has remained stable, like wage growth. That's why new forecast could be even more aggressive. Comments provided by even one politician could lower the number of cuts. What's more, the regulator and markets will have a chance to estimate U.S. inflation. The fact is that the consumer price report will be issued just several minutes before the end of the meeting. According to the forecast, the indicator will stay unchanged at 3.4%. The following press conference may also boost volatility in the currency market. Jerome Powell may provide some hints about the pace of a future curate cuts. Curiously, a day before the decision announcement, the Fed's chair received an open letter, um, open letter from uh, several U.S. senators. It uh, contains a call to reduce the interest rate following Europe and Canada. Lawmakers believe that further tightening of the regulator's policy threatens the country with a recession. However, much of the health of the U.S. Central Bank has heeded that this call will be revealed later in the U.S. session. Judging by his past comments following fat meetings, Powell's stance is likely to remain in neutral. The greenback was stuck in a tight range of 105.10 to 105.30 during today's Asian and European trading sessions, seemingly posing a heart of a major events. Notably, the index measuring the dollar's value against the basket of six foreign currencies stabilized after hitting a four-week high. If data shows that U.S. inflation is easing and Jerome Powell leaves dovish comments, the dollar's upside momentum could fizzle out, allowing the euro to recover. Moreover, pressure on the European currency somewhat eased after French President Emmanuel Macron said he would not resign regardless of the outcome of the parliamentary elections later this month. This news reduced the threat of a political instability in France and Europe as a whole, providing some temporary relief to the markets. However, uncertainty surrounding the recent parliamentary elections continues to diminish the euro's appeal. Against this backdrop, the major currency pair began trading sideways in the range of 1.0738 to 1.0756. Besides, yesterday's relatively light macroeconomic calendar prevented investors from making any significant bets. Thus, the euro has stabilized near the 1.0750 level. If the dollar gains strength today, the euro could fall to the June 11 low of 1.0719 and then dive to the May uh, one level of 1.0649. Alternatively, if bulls take control, the single European currency could head for the key technical level of 1.0787 or even the June high of 1.0916. Currently, we observe some strengthening of the daily chart. However, with a turbulent day had uh, filled with the crucial news from the United States, the dollar remains the dominant force in the pair. Oil prices are gaining value amid US dollar stagnation. And today, Brent crude was climbing towards the key resistance level of $83 per barrel, remaining within the channel of $81.97 and $82.94. The quote started rising just after the publication of the APEC monthly report. The OPEC countries still expect that in 2024, 
demand for oil will rise by 2.25 million barrels a day. The report also reads that a drop in oil prices recorded in May could be explained by speculative sell-offs and mixed economic results. What's more? Traders are looking forward to the U.S. oil reserves figures and the Fed's meeting results. If the benchmark rate in the largest economy in the world remains high for a long period, this may like an economic expansion and lower oil demand. Nevertheless, today, oil has already reached a weekly high. Another driving force was a report on inflation and in the world's second largest economy, China's annual inflation rate came in at 0.3% in May, holding steady for the second straight months. Given that May market marked uh, the fourth straight months of rising consumer inflation, this confirmed the recovery in domestic demand. Thus, data from China, the world's largest importer of crude oil, provided a boost for some price gains. You have watched the market review on the Insta Forex TV channel. We wish you profitable trades. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us and see you online tomorrow.